Thank you for joining us for another one of our little moments with the pastor. Um, I want to talk to you today about um, a couple of verses in Philippians. Paul, when he's talking about his goal to, uh, to obtain the righteousness of Christ, what Luther and theologians call an alien righteousness, the righteousness of Christ given to us, in order that he might attain to the resurrection of the dead. He says, now, I haven't gotten there already. I'm still alive, and so I haven't become perfect. I'm not glorified yet. I'm not sinless. But he, he makes this famous statement, maybe one of his more famous lines in his writing. But this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward for what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us who are mature think this way. And if anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. Only let us hold true to what we have already obtained. So Paul's got a good, healthy perspective here of the past and the present and the future. But his main focus is on the future. And I would say that's the difference between true biblical or gospel religion and that which is kind of a false version of it. False religions always focus on the past, on uh, past events, myth, folklore, what, what people might have wanted to happen. But a religion that's focused on Christ is always looking forward to what he will do for us and what we will become in him. He mentions three things. He says, I focus on reaching forward toward the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. I'm always progressing, he says. Difficult as and painful as it may be, I'm always going from what he would say in another passage, from glory to glory to a greater way to glory. Um, and if I'm thinking wrongly, if I'm not thinking maturely, and young people tend to uh, lick their wounds and uh, be discouraged and focus on the past, he said, God will worry you that to me. He'll, he'll show me how that's holding me back. But he says, I do hold on to what I have obtained, what God has done to me, this basis I have in Christ, both as um, a theologian of the cross and as a Christian standing in the righteousness of Christ, I build on that and the things that God's been doing in my life. I had an opportunity to have lunch yesterday with a wonderful guy uh, who used to be a member of um, Peace Church, now is involved in one of the area churches and very involved in ministry. And he asked me a question. He said, what would you say is the difference between when you started this interim ministry at uh, Peace Church and where you are today. And I said, that's easy. When I first came, I met with a lot of people and they wanted me to be a referee, to declare a winner in the conflict that was surrounding our past events. But now I can honestly look you in the eyes through this medium and tell you I don't hear that anymore. What I hear consistently from our members, from our staff, from our elders, from our pastors, is that we're ready to move forward. We're looking to the next great thing God's going to do in our life as he brings us a new pastor, as we turn the corner from what we're struggling with in the past to what we're looking for and hoping for in the future. So if any of you has, as Paul says, uh, a thinking in another way, just take that to the Lord and say, Lord, reveal to me what in my past might be holding me back. Could be something from childhood or a previous relationship or a broken marriage or a, a tragic event. Uh, and, and God's intention is that we learn from those things. They're things that we will obtain uh, some kind of grace and growth through, but they're not to hold us back. God has wonderful plans for us. He has a bright future for Christ, uh, or for, excuse me, not for Christ coming to church where it used to be, but for Peace Church where I am now. And um, he wants us to focus on that and to strive upward and forward to this call that he's given us in Christ Jesus. I want to encourage you to do that, and thank you again for listening to me this morning.